we're going to Vintage for beignets and the grocery store right down the street from our apartment in New Orleans. Say hi! Oh, hi. cheesecake and something I can't remember the name like Marche or something like that that's like a light green tea something so this is the green tea one raspberry it's good the raspberry um, filling kind of tastes like pie filling. Taste the green one. It's not as sweet. It's, it's good. It's like a custard, like a pudding. The raspberry one is hot. The green tea one is not. It's room temperature. It's not warm at all. And the strawberry cheesecake one is warm. So all three are different temperatures. The strawberry cheesecake one has like this kind of filling. It's kind of like yogurt consistency. It tastes like like one of those fancy flavored yogurts. The beignets, I think, are really good, especially the hot one. But the fillings, I don't think they're... I wish all the beignets had been hot, like the first one too. It would have really made a big difference. You want to try? Yeah. I just tried the strawberry cheesecake beignet, and it tastes like it tastes like a baby food. I think it tastes like banana baby food. That's funny. Or the green tea. 
Dunkin' Donuts. From Dunkin' Donuts, it does not have. I can't taste any green tea in it, so it's green. So maybe they have to put green food coloring in it. Here's the raspberry. Doesn't it taste like pie filling? Like cherry, but raspberry. It's the same consistency. It's like. Mm -hmm. um, we were told that this has the best beignets on magazine. And we haven't tried any other places that have beignets on the street, so it might be the best place for beignets. But um, I feel like the ones we had at that place, Cafe Amand, were better. And I'm going to be on a hunt this week to find the best beignets in New Orleans, and I will take other people's recommendations and try those places. Our tour guide yesterday told us of a place in a hotel that I have written down, so I'm going to try that place as well. Hmm. So, Leaf was right. They, they do taste a little bit like... Um, Donuts, which is not terrible because I love Dunkin' Donuts. We are in the Ritz Carlton. It is gorgeous in here. It's probably one of the fanciest hotels I've ever been in. We're going to the Davenport Lounge. So the smallest is three, mm -hmm. the top thing, and the largest six pennies. Okay. Okay, so these beignets, first of all, they are warm, all of them. You gotta hold it up. And they're definitely a step up from the vintage beignets. There's three sauces. We got caramel, vanilla, and chocolate. The vanilla is kind of like very cream. The caramel kind of has a strange taste to it. I'm not really sure why. And then the chocolate is very similar to Cruchy's syrup. Um, I do have only one criticism to this, and that is it just had too much powdered sugar. The first one I had was drenched and covered in powdered sugar. Kind of like when you get a funnel cake and it's just they just mound it on there. It didn't need it didn't need as much powdered sugar. What do you think? I mean, so the, the supposedly the best um, beignets are Cafe Du Monde and these are the most these are the similar most similar ones we've had at from that place. They do put a bunch of powdered sugar on it. And I think this is like even a higher grade powdered sugar than the ones they use down there. So, I mean, this is just like it's served at Cafe Du Monde. Um, 
the caramel tastes fine to me, and the and the vanilla is, is maybe be is Bavarian cream. I don't know what it is. It's, it doesn't taste like that to me either. Of course, the chocolate tastes like Hershey's syrup, and I don't like it at all. What I did like about these Indians were they were really fluffy and they're hollow and, and big. Airy. Airy. They, they were light and airy. They're, they're not uh, flat. Like a lot of times you get, they're flat. And so, so far, this is our top pick. I think the caramel is homemade. It does taste a little burned to me, but it might just be because it's homemade. I'm used to caramel being so sweet, and it's not as sweet. It's real runny. It's not thick. It's real. It's real runny. I think it's. I think it's home, maybe, maybe what she said, but it's real easy to make caramel. I, I like it like this though. You can do that last piece. All right.
Tchau. Okay, I just ate at Cafe Du Monde in French Market. And um, the beignets uh, were very doughy. And um, they were actually longer and flatter than the other beignets. Uh, so far out of the four places that I have tried, they were my least favorite. I kind of expected that because according to other reviews, they just mass produce them and there's, it's so busy over there that the quality and taste just isn't there. They are cheap though. It's $4.25 for three beignets. I only ate part of one. Um, I'm in Jackson Square right now, as you can see, and I am headed to Cafe Beignet for my next tasting. Three minute walk from Cafe Du Monde to Cafe Beignet on Decatur Street. There's three Cafe Beignets within a few minutes of each other, right around this area. Um, the French Market Turn area left. and Bourbon Street. So it's pretty popular. Walk for 10 feet. You have arrived. Big, like this big. 
very hot. Um, I don't think I prefer these because it's literally solid breading all the way through like a biscuit. And I think I prefer the layers and the pockets in there rather than this thick. It's just so thick. It's definitely the doughiest so far. Even more doughy than Cafe Du Monde. I do like that they're big if you know you want more. But I just am not a fan of um, the thickness. They do taste really good though. Okay, I'm going to talk about the beignets we had today. Julia and I went to City Park and went to Cafe Du Monde over there at City Park. They were very similar to the beignets at the other Cafe Du Monde in Jackson Square, but they were better. They seemed fresher and just had, they were hot also. They just had a better flavor than the other cafe. Still not as good as some of the others that I've tried this week. Um, they are really thick in the center like a dough. Um, both of the Cafe Du Monde and Cafe Beignet beignets are the thickest in the inside like a thick biscuit, not a flaky biscuit. So it wasn't because of that, it wasn't my favorite again it was right down there still in the bottom with the other Cafe Du Monde. Juliette thinks that beignets are supposed to be flakier on the inside or more hollow than those also so she didn't like them as much either. 